Greetings from the Israeli Embassy to the United States and welcome to our virtual Hanukkah celebration. Hanukkah is a time when Jews celebrate our identity and our sovereignty. We celebrate identity because nearly 2200 years ago, when the Maccabees rose up to take on a powerful empire, they did not fight to save their lives. They fought to practice their faith. In fact, they risked their lives to save their identity. That is why on Hanukkah, we Jews take pride in our identity. We have our Passover seders in our homes. We build our sukkahs in our backyards. But on Hanukkah, we light our candles in a public place where all can see. The descendants of the Maccabees show that we too are proud Jews. On Hanukkah, we also celebrate the restoration of sovereignty. Jews are a nearly 4,000 year old people, but we have been a sovereign nation for less than a quarter of that time. The first period of sovereignty began when Joshua crossed the Jordan and ended some seven centuries later when the Babylonian ruler Nebuchadnezzar destroyed the first temple. It would be hundreds of years before the Jewish people would get a second chance at sovereignty. When the Maccabees won their miraculous victory against the Syrian Greeks. But that period lasted barely a century when the Jewish state effectively became a vassal of Rome. The Jewish people would have to wait over 2,000 years for a third chance at sovereignty. That chance came on May 14, 1948, when David Ben-Gurion declared Israel's independence. Fittingly, Israel chose as our national symbol the menorah, the same menorah that was lit when the Maccabees rededicated the temple in Jerusalem so long ago. Today, the menorah reminds us of their courage. It gives us hope, as it has a hundred generations of Jews, that the light will ultimately vanquish the darkness. And it inspires us, as our ancient prophets foretold, to continue to spread that light to all the nations of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, while virtual celebrations pose many difficulties, they also afford us new opportunities, like being able to include people in this event who otherwise may not be able to participate. On each night of Hanukkah, we have asked people who we want to honor to light the candles for that night. Well, what better way to begin than by honoring a first round pick on the first night? A few weeks ago, Denny Avdia made history when the Washington Wizards chose him as the ninth pick in the first round of the NBA draft. His selection means that Israel now has two ambassadors in America's capital, and I am proud to invite my fellow ambassador to light the first candle. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kitshanu b'mitzvotayinav, le'adlik ner shel Chanukah. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher asa nisim l'avotinu, b'yamim ha'em, b'zman ha'ze. Amen. Al anisim ve'al aniflaot asher cholelu ha-makabim. Al anisim ve'al aniflaot asher cholelu ha-makabim.